Hey guys, MEP Guy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the line color and patterns for each one of your systems in Revit. Now, for this example, we're going to use cold water, hot water, and hot water return piping. So let's open up a new project. So let's start with a plumbing default project. Hit open, hit OK. And I'm just going to copy this wall and plumbing fixture and tag into this new project by going to modify, paste, hit OK. And we're just gonna paste it right in the middle right here. Let's just zoom in. So let's click on our lavatory right here and we'll start drawing some cold water piping. We'll just go out to a point right here and then we'll just go across. And we'll zoom out a little bit and we'll draw to a point about right there. Now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna change this color blue because it's a little dark on my screen. I wanna make it more easy to see. So I'm gonna click on the pipe, go up to piping system. Then we're gonna click edit type. And what this will essentially do is it will create a different style for anything that's on this system. So when I go to graphic overrides, this is overriding the graphics for this system, which is the cold water system. And Revit drew it on the cold water because I used the cold water connector from this lavatory. So let's first, let's just change to this lighter blue color right here. Click OK, click OK. And then when I hit apply, you'll see that this lighter blue color does show up. So anything that gets drawn on the cold water system will now be that lighter blue color. So let's take it a step further. Let's click edit again. And we wanna change the pattern. So let's click this drop down right here and you'll see all the choices we have right out of the box from Revit. So if we look on this list, we don't really see anything that looks like the cold water. Maybe we can start with this center quarter inch right here, because that does kind of look like a cold water system. So let's click OK and let's click Apply and let's click OK. Now you'll notice that this doesn't really resemble a cold water system. Usually a cold water system is gonna have a long line right here with a little dash marker and then another long line right here. I'm actually gonna change my scale to a half inch equals a foot right here. So you can see that is not the type of line style we're gonna want for our cold water system. So let's click back on the pipe. Let's go up to piping systems again, edit type, click graphic overrides edit, and let's go ahead and click these little ellipses now what this allows us to do is we can now uh, modify any one of these line patterns that Revit had, has loaded already. So we can either do edit or new. But let's actually go to edit because I want to take a look at what this um, pattern is comprised of. And you can see that first it starts off with a dash and that's the long piece right here. And then you enter in a value that's the length of that piece that you want. Then you have a choice of using a space. So then there's a space right here and that's the length of that space which is 3 over 30 second inch. And then you have another dash which is 3 over 30 second and then another space. So we want to kind of manipulate this a little bit so we can get something that we want. Now the one thing I'm noticing is this dash maybe needs to be around 2 inches. So if we make it 2 inches and hit OK, that's going to change our center quarter inch. Now I want to rename that. And obviously the original one remo gets removed, so unfortunately we can't um, copy these. So I'm just going to rename this to CW for cold water. And we're going to click OK, click OK, and click Apply. And now you can see that our cold water line looks more conducive to something that we might see on our plumbing documents. So this is looking much better. So let's go ahead and draw a hot water line by clicking into our fixture, clicking this hot water connector button, and let's draw it to about right up there. Let's make a turn to here, and that looks good. Now, I already like this red color, and that's totally fine, so I want to do the same thing to change the pattern. Click the pipe, go up to piping systems, go to edit type, and then we want to edit the graphic overrides. And I don't want to change the color this time, but I do want to edit the pattern, so let's click on this. And this time, we can't really use one of these existing ones. We're just going to have to create something from scratch because if we go to our cold water and we try to edit it or we can't copy it. So unfortunately, we have to start from scratch. So let's click on new and let's do, um, we're going to enter in hot water for the name. And then for the type for the first one, we really only have two options, a dash or a dot. So we're going to use a dash and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw it at two inches and then we're going to use a space and let's just use that three over 30 second and I'm going to copy this value since I want to copy it into all these other cells. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do another dash and we're going to just paste that three thirty second in and we're going to put another space with the three thirty second. and now we have that long dash, we have a space, we have a dash 
we have another space and we need one more dash. So let's select dash, copy in 332nd and click OK. So it actually needs to end with a space. So let's close this and then let's create one more space right here and just paste that in and hit OK. So now you can see there's kind of that small little representation of our hot water line. So we'll click OK and now we'll click OK again, hit apply and you'll see now we have this hot water line which is more conducive to something that we would want to display on our drawings. So for the last one I'm going to actually create a hot water return line and so to do that I'm just going to right click on this piece of pipe, create similar and we're just going to draw it from this lavatory right here and I'm going to go to this point, hit escape. Now if I want to make this pipe on a different system I actually have to select it, pull it out from the existing system and now that it's on its own I'll go over to the properties panel for my pipe and now I can change it to any system I want. But if you look at this list you'll see that there's no hot water return type piping. So we're going to have to create that system. So to create a new system we just go down to families, piping systems, and we're going to just right click on the domestic hot water and we're just going to duplicate that. And now I'm just going to rename this hot water return. Hit enter. And now I have that new system created so I'm going to select this piece of pipe again and we're gonna go to system type and now you'll see hot water return is displaying right there. So now I can edit the type of system and I want to, oops, sorry, you don't wanna click that edit type, you wanna to go to piping systems, click edit type and now I have my graphic overrides again and maybe for this we wanna change it to maybe like an orange color or like a light orange peach color cause it's not as hot and then for the pattern again, we're gonna to have to create a new one and I'm gonna call this HWR. And again, we're gonna to have to use a dash. I'm gonna use two inches for now. And then I'm gonna fill the rest in for you guys. Now I think I got all those values in, but we're gonna be able to look at what the line looks like. So as you can see, there is those three little dashes in the middle, so everything's looking good. So we're gonna click OK and click OK. I'm gonna click Apply. And you'll notice that Revit has now created um, this hot water return system. I'm just gonna click escape and now when I connect my hot water return system since there's a fitting here the systems will stay separate and everything looks great. So now if I use my tag I can tag these pieces of pipe but you'll notice that they're not displaying the system name so all I have to do is go into the system, hit piping systems, edit the type and we just need to make sure that we create an abbreviation for each system. So I'll make this cold water, hit apply. And that tag I created, which has the system abbreviation, is now working and will display my system name. So again, let's change this for the hot water system. Edit type, change this to HW, hit OK. And then for the last one, go to piping systems, edit type, change this to HWR, hit OK. And now we have customized our pipe colors and pipe line patterns for all of our systems. So regardless if this is pipe or mechanical equipment, anything on that system will resemble these types of line styles that we've created. Now if you want to learn more about how to create custom tags in Revit, make sure to check out the next video. See you guys.